In honor of National Vocation Awareness Week, I should ask you maybe the most obvious question. What do you want to do with your life? Now, I always kind of hated that question. I'd sort of navigate my way through Thanksgiving and Christmas, maybe avoiding some aunts or uncles who might say, what are you going to do next year? How are you spending your summer? What's your plan? Because it's embarrassing sometimes to not know. When we think about discernment, we know that it's important. We know that we should be thinking about our lives, but not just in the here and now, but what we want to do. So universally, I think it's fair to say that each one of us has had that same thought. What am I going to do once I graduate? Am I going to go to work? What school am I going to go to? Which university or college should I tour? Which program should I apply for? And it starts in really small, incremental ways, doesn't it? Maybe you just watched a football game and loved the pageantry of the school, or you liked their mascot, or its proximity or distance from your own home. So you go to their website, you request information, you watch some of their videos on YouTube. Maybe you make a visit. Maybe you stay overnight. Maybe you had siblings that visited. Maybe it's where your whole family's gone, and it's kind of a no-brainer. But whatever the reason, when we think about university or college or what we want to study after high school, each one of us is sitting there making a discernment. We've taken something that's abstract, what do I want to do? And we've moved it into a place that's much more real, much more concrete. What do I want to do and how am I going to do it? So when we think about Vocation Awareness Week, we're making a similar discernment. We're coming before the Lord and we're saying, I know that you have a plan for my life. What is that plan? But usually where we stop ourselves is we say, Lord, reveal that plan to me. Just show me what to do and I'll do it. Now that's never really the case. Even if the Lord really broke through, his voice sort of ringing from the heavens, or you had a dream or premonition and you felt this great clarity of what the Lord had called you to, it's pretty unlikely that you'd take those steps. Instead, just like our discernment of life after high school, we should be asking those some questions about our own vocation. Lord, how have you called me to live a life of holiness? Holiness is walking shoulder to shoulder with Christ. It's communion with God. And so holiness is that first vocation, and in service of that is that secondary vocation. How are you calling me to pursue holiness? Is it as one of your priests? Is it as a religious sister, as a brother? Is it in marriage? As a husband, as a father, as a wife, as a mother? When we ask those questions, we come before the Lord, and we're finally being honest with Him, and we're acknowledging something in humility, that my life is not about me and what I want, but it's about fulfilling His will. And in doing so, we actually find ourselves in a greater place of freedom. This is a week of awareness, but that awareness has to lead us to activity. We have to take steps towards it. And so what we can do is pretty simple. Same way you discern a job or a university, talk to somebody who's been there before, talk to your own pastor, go make a visit to a convent, see what books are available, go to thinkpriest.org, our website which shows our events, our calendar, all the opportunities that we have to see the seminary, meet the seminarians, get a sense of what formation looks like. In the same way, we make a discernment by moving from what's abstract to what's concrete, what's just a thought, what's now an action. And so when we begin to take those steps, we begin to close those doors, and that sense of certainty begins to settle quite deeply in our hearts. So that'd be my encouragement to you, is to really take that time quite seriously. Know that the Lord is calling you to a full life and a life lived in communion with Him.